Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta. This would be a short video where we are going to talk about a couple of updates to the DevTools Stick platform, a couple of features that I've added and a way through which you and I can help each other plus other front-end engineers can help each other to better prepare for interviews and crack interviews of good companies. So coming back to the platform, uh, if you don't know, DevTools Tech is the uh, one of the leading front-end platform uh, where uh, front-end engineers can come and prepare for real-world interviews that are asked in the top product companies across the world. Now, if I go to all questions tab, uh, we get all the questions listed here and there were a few filters earlier, but I used to get a repeated request from a lot of users that they would like to filter out the questions they have already attempted and the questions that are in the to-do state. So I've added that now. So if you are or a basic version of it, to be honest. Uh, so if you're logged in uh, into your account, you will see this uh, filter now called status. There are two right now. Uh, let's say for this user, I want to see how many questions I've already attempted. So I click on submitted. I'll get all the questions that I've tried. And if I click on to do, then I'll get all the questions that are in the pending state. Uh, let's say I can filter it out more. Let's say I want to see programming questions which are in to-do state. So it will be filtered out here. Now let's say I, want, I have a interview coming up maybe with Atlassian and I want to know all the Atlassian questions, all the Atlassian programming questions that are in the to-do state. So here now I've added a new filter called companies. I am in process of mapping all the questions to their respective companies. We'll talk about it a bit later. So I've already seeded it with a few companies. Let's say I search for Atlassian. It's here. I select it. So all the questions that are programming questions and in the to do state will be filtered out here. And if you select pagination and the filters will persist. And these are the four questions that are in the to do state. Now, like I mentioned, I'm in the process of adding more companies and mapping questions I see on the platform and on the web or the questions that are submitted to us by the users with their respective companies. Now, here is the part where you can help me, the platform, and we can help each other. So, in the sidebar, there would be this uh, new option, contribution opportunities with the CTA submit questions. If you click on it, then it will take you to a Google form where you can add question title, description, test cases, uh, which company asked this question and your LinkedIn profile. Let's say you have been giving interviews or you have seen questions on the web or maybe you are writing it in your blog. Then you can share that with us. We'll review it and eventually we'll add it to the platform and uh, might cover it on our YouTube channel. So this is one way you can help uh, us and like the idea here is that if we help each other and add questions and make it sort of a better collection, then eventually it would, you know, help the entire community so that we can better prepare for interviews. Now, let's say I start solving this question. I come here and I read all the, uh, you know, details mentioned and I realize that I've seen this question uh, in Atlassian and other companies. So what I can do that for any questions on the platform, there would be this link, uh, report link if you click on it then you will get a uh, this dialog box where you it will ask you which company asked this so let's say it was asked in atlassian and it was asked in ola i can search for ola there is no option right now but i can create one so atlassian and ola and i can pass on some remarks the remarks could be something like this question was asked in the machine coding ground for sd2 and maybe you can provide a solution link or maybe some sort of let's say youtube video or your blog or whatever let's say i've done that and i submit it once i do then this is stored this record is stored in our database and eventually our team uh, will review it and uh, once we have uh, you know verified and you know filter out then we will eventually tag this question with this respective company so that anyone who goes to the questions tab and if they search for that particular company, your tag will help them. Now, if I tag questions, you tag questions, other people tag questions, then eventually it would help each other. But this is all possible if we bring awareness and other people can come and contribute. 
So here comes another part where you can help. You can take this platform link. Uh, you, you have already. I will mention it in the description. You already have that devtools.tech. Post it on social media. Tweet about it. Post it on LinkedIn, Reddit, and so on. And eventually, if enough people will come and contribute, or you know, talk about our YouTube channel on social platforms, you can uh, take the video links and post it. Then this would help us raise awareness, and eventually, it will motivate me personally to do more and contribute more to the platform. You can also reach out to me and talk about all the features you want in the platform. Like I'll give you a couple of uh, features in the roadmap. Uh, a lot of people, you know, reach out to me and tell me that uh, they don't have any structured learning path. They don't, they have an interview in one month or two months, but they don't know what to prepare, how to prepare. So maybe under collections or maybe some new tab, I'll add a new structured learning path, like seven day, 30 days, uh, three months learning path so that you can have a curated list of topics and questions. You can do talk, maybe theme wise, maybe company wise and so on. And also there could be another features like let's say we have some ui based questions like if i open this question right now i right now i have two options react and html javascript css javascript i am planning to expand this to have more language functionalities like react typescript vanilla typescript and eventually swelt uh, angular and so on so but that will only happen if you help me you know raise awareness around the platform and the youtube channel so that other people can come and contribute and if i see the effort is worthwhile then i'll definitely put in hours into it so it's now up to you folks help me out and help the platform so that it can be a better uh, platform as we all know dev tools is the only platform for front end engineers by front end engineers and completely free so please now ball is in your court. So see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.